And now, our featured presentation, Daniel's 70 Prophetic Weeks and the Tribulation. In this session, we will discover the mathematical error that has caused many to believe that the tribulation will be for seven years. And then we will look at the big prophetic picture. Misunderstanding Daniel's 70 prophetic weeks. The idea that there will be seven years of tribulation cannot be verified by any Bible verse. The passage that is predominantly used for this claim is found in the book of Daniel chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. This section is called Daniel's 70 weeks prophecy. Let us examine these verses and also put them in context with additional and relevant prophetic materials. Daniel chapter 9, verse 24. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. The first thing to note in this verse is that there are 70 prophetic weeks. To calculate this, we must multiply 70 by 7, which equals 490 calendar years. The second thing to note is that six things must happen within the 490 years event. The six things are to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Let us look at the next verse, Daniel chapter 9, verse 25. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks, and three score and two weeks. The street shall be built again, and the wall even in troubled times. The first thing to note here is that Daniel was told the starting point of the 70 prophetic weeks, 490 literal years, from the command to restore and rebuild Jerusalem. Secondly, Daniel was also told that this prophecy pointed to the Messiah, the Prince, Jesus Christ. The third thing in this verse is that the 70 weeks, 490 years, are in segments. The first section is seven weeks. That is to say, seven prophetic weeks times seven equals 49. The second section is three score and two weeks. That is to say, 62 prophetic weeks times seven equals 434 years. Now, 49 years plus 434 years equals 483 years. This means we need one week or seven more years to complete this prophecy. So let us continue our reading. Daniel chapter 9 verse 26. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood. And unto the end of the war, desolations are determined. In this verse, Daniel was informed that Jesus, the Messiah, would be crucified or cut off after the 62 portion of prophetic weeks, 434 years. Daniel was then told what time in the one prophetic week or seven years Christ would be crucified. Here is the verse, Daniel 9 verse 27. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation. And that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Here is the final prophetic week or seven years, which completes the 70 prophetic weeks, or 490 years. Jesus was crucified in the middle of this final week, three and a half years, after he began his ministry. Let us put the numbers together again. Seven times seven equal 49. 
62 times 7 equal 434. Since Jesus was crucified in the middle of the one prophetic week, we can only add three and a half years. So, 49 plus 434 equals 483 plus three and a half equals 486 and a half. The remainder is three and a half years. This last prophetic week, seven years, is what is called the seven years of tribulation. But that cannot be because the prophecy pointed to Christ, not the Antichrist. Further, the first portion of that one week or seven years was a period when Christ ministered for three and a half years. That is why Daniel said, Unto Messiah the Prince. We must now find the other half of the one prophetic week. For this, we will reference both Daniel and John. Daniel. And he shall speak great words against the Mosai, and shall wear out the saints of the Mosai, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hands until a time and times and the dividing of time. Three and a half years. Daniel 7 verse 25. How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? Then another answered, It shall be for a time, times, and half. Three and a half years again. Daniel chapter 12, verses 6 and 7. The Apostle John. And the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. Three and a half years. Revelation 11, verse 2. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. Three and a half years. Revelation 11 verse 3. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she hath a place prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. Three and a half years. Then the same duration was reiterated. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time, and times, and half a time. Three and a half years again. Revelation 12, verses 6 and 14. And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. Three and a half years. Revelation 13, verse 5. Both Daniel and John agree that during the last portion of the one prophetic week, three and a half years, the Antichrist will pretend to be the returning Messiah. This is when the tribulation will happen for three and a half years, not seven years. It is one prophecy with four events happening at different times. Therefore, the events are in pause, not time. Let us rehearse the calculation of Daniel's 70 prophetic weeks of events. 70 times 7 equals 490. This 490 is broken into four sections. 7 times 7, 49. 62 times 7, 434. Plus 3 and a half years give us a total of 486 and a half. Plus the other three and a half give us a total of 490. This is Daniel's 70 weeks prophecy. Just as though the beginning of the 70 weeks would be marked by the command to restore and build Jerusalem, the resumption of the last three and a half years also has a starting point. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, Whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judah flee into the mountains. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Matthew 24, verses 15, 16, and 21. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself, above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. 
Jesus connected Daniel's prophecy with the rise of the Antichrist, who will sit in the temple pretending to be God. Daniel and Jesus identified the tribulation as that time of trouble that has never been and will never be. This is a time when the imposter will sit in the temple declaring himself to be God. But there's good news. Jesus has promised to shorten those days, not the three and a half years, but the days of the tribulation. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Matthew 24, verses 21 and 22. The tribulation cannot be for seven years, because the Messiah died in the middle of the week. Further, if these seven years are to come, then it equally means that the Messiah's crucifixion is still pending. This is exactly what the deceiver has caused Israel to believe, that the Messiah has not yet come, that Jesus is not the Messiah, and that Jesus is not God. Don't be deceived. Do the calculation. Do the math. The big picture. Daniel chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. The angel Gabriel told Daniel that 70 prophetic weeks were set for Israel to finish the transgression, make an end of sins, make reconciliation for iniquity, bring in everlasting righteousness, seal up the vision and prophecy, and anoint the most holy. The only person born in Israel who could accomplish these was Jesus, who was formally anointed at his baptism. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Matthew chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Also read Matthew chapter 17, verse 5. After his baptism and wilderness temptation, Jesus began his ministry when he was about 30 years old. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age. Luke chapter 3, verse 23. Using the annual Passover festivals, and the time between Jesus' baptism and actual ministry, we can identify the years leading up to his atonement. Here are some of the verses. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, John chapter 2, verse 13. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh, John chapter 6, verse 4. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread, and blessed, and break it, and gave to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said unto them, This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many. Mark chapter 14, verses 22 to 24. This is the clear fulfillment of Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. He shall confirm the covenant with many. The Antichrist is not the one who confirms a covenant or signs any peace agreement with Israel for seven years. In the presence of the disciples as witnesses, Jesus confirms that his atonement will be for everyone, not just the Israelites. Just before his atonement, Jesus ended and converted the Jewish Passover into the Christian's Holy Communion to remember him. According to Gabriel, Christ would be crucified after the 62 weeks and then the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary and the end thereof shall be with a flood and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. Jesus also confirmed this in the book of Matthew. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Matthew 24 verses 1 and 2. The people of the prince 
were the Romans under the leadership of Vespasian who destroyed the Jewish temple and expelled Israel in AD 70. This subsequently led to the desolation of Israel for almost 2,000 years until their return in 1948 as a result of the Holocaust. Incidentally, this destruction in AD 70 and Israel's return in 1948 also fulfilled Ezekiel's vision of the Valley of Dry Bones that they live. Read Ezekiel chapter 37 verses 1 to 14. Without the parenthetical clause that told us about the people of the prince, Daniel chapter 9 verses 26 and 27 would read like this. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause a sacrifice and the oblation to cease. Only in this way, the pronoun he in verse 27 can find its antecedent in verse 26. The Messiah who has been the subject from verse 24. When Christ died, he caused all sacrifices and oblations to cease. And because of Israel's abominable practices, they were driven out of the land. Now, the parenthetical clause is correctly positioned in the passage. It tells us that the people of the prince would expel Israel after the Messiah is cut off in the middle of the week. Then nearly 2,000 years after, the valley of dry bones would return as the trembling cup and burdensome stone, according to Zechariah chapter 12, verses 2 and 3. This is the big prophetic picture. Daniel chapter 9, verses 24 to 27 is about Christ, not the Antichrist. Further, no one should confuse the desolation of Israel with the abomination of desolation. They are two different events. The desolation of Israel is prophesied in Daniel chapter 9 verse 24 to 27 and confirmed by Jesus in Matthew chapter 24 verses 1 and 2. This was fulfilled by Vespasian in AD 70. Then there is the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel in chapter 11 and confirmed by Jesus in Matthew chapter 24 verse 15. The abomination of desolation was foreshadowed by Antiochus who desecrated the second temple which caused the Maccabean revolt. Let us listen to Daniel. And arms shall stand on his part and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength and shall take away the daily sacrifice and they shall place the abomination that make it desolate. And the king shall do according to his will and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak marvelous things against the God of gods. Daniel chapter 11, verses 31 and 36. The future fulfillment of this abomination of desolation will happen during the three and a half years of tribulation when the Antichrist will sit in Israel pretending to be the returning Messiah. The desolation of Israel and the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel are two separate events. Concerning, Concerning the, rapture the rapture and the tribulation, and the tribulation there, there are, are three, three fundamental, fundamental views. Pre-tribulation. Pre-tribulation. This, this view, view holds that Christ, Christ will come, come before, before the tribulation. tribulation. Mid-tribulation. Mid-tribulation. This, this view, view holds that Christ, Christ will come, will come in, the in the middle of the tribulation. Of the tribulation. Post-tribulation. Post-tribulation. This view holds hold that Christ, that Christ will, come will come after, after the, tribulation. the tribulation. Regardless, Regardless of, the view, of the view, you may, you believe, may believe the tribulation, the tribulation is, set is set for three, three and, a half and a half years, years not, not seven, seven years. years. Do, the, Do math. the math. Thank you, Thank for, you listening. for listening.